Well, hi there, everybody, and good Monday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. As we start you off here, if you think that it was windy over the weekend, just wait till what we have in store for you as we get through the next couple of days. Extremely windy conditions on the way. Now, before we get to that, though, we're going to start you off with our spotter classes for today. Our store severe weather classes put on by the local National Weather Service offices. The Hastings National Weather Service will be conducting two classes later on today. These are both at 6:30. First in York County, that class will be taking place at the Waco Fire Department, and in Sherman County, that class. Will be taking place at the Loop City Community Center. Again, these are both at 6 30. You're going to get some great information from the Weather Service as we get to that time of the year. Now, the severe weather threat thankfully will stay off to our east today, but the wind threat is not. That is going to be in full force today. Now, a dry line is actually pushing eastward across the state this morning, and that's ushering in dry air. Strong south winds already this morning are starting to turn more southwesterly. That will push eastward, clearing up our cloud cover a bit, and then here comes a cold front following it. That brings in even drier air, and temperatures will start to drop off behind that front. Uh, as for precipitation chances, I think most of the storms will be uh, uh, held, holding off until they get to the east of the Missouri River. Maybe something in extreme southeast Nebraska, but for most of us here in the KSMB viewing area, not expecting thunderstorm activity where, there, again, there's a severe weather threat uh, to the east in Iowa, Missouri, parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. But here in Nebraska, uh, the future cast shows some moisture to the northwest with the dry air working in. We're talking about humidity levels down around 10-20% uh, relative humidity later today, so it's going to be tough to squeeze out moisture out of this. But again, extremely dry conditions, extremely strong winds as they turn westerly means that fire danger is going to be high. Still breezy tonight as skies clear up, mostly clear later in the night. And as we get into tomorrow, another very windy day. Cooler air working in. A lot of us in the 50s, some upper 40s to the northwest, maybe some low 60s to the southeast. Uh, but again, uh, fire danger will be high due to those very strong west and northwest winds. Maybe not quite as strong as Monday, but they will still definitely be noticeable out there again tomorrow. We're talking about wind, wind gusts up there around uh, 45 to 50 miles per hour. Now today's winds... We're talking about wind gusts up around 50 to 60 miles per hour in central uh, Nebraska and Kansas, western Nebraska and Kansas. That's where we have high wind warnings in place from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. this evening. Again, extremely strong winds could even cause some minor damage. Eastern Nebraska, a wind advisory from 10 a.m. till 8 p.m. Now, you see some counties not highlighted there, just east of the Tri-Cities. That is because those are areas inside of the Hastings National Weather Service offices area. Well, the Hastings National Weather Service no longer issues wind advisories. So basically you can almost look at those counties and say they are also under a wind advisory. That means wind gusts 45 to 50 miles per hour, maybe even slightly higher than that today. Would not be even surprised if we see those areas upgraded to a high wind warning. Along with that, again, it has been so dry lately and we're going to have very low relative humidity levels later on today. So that fire danger will be dangerous, critically dangerous out there later today. So a red flag warning for most locations from uh, late morning through the evening hours. Temperature-wise today, look how we climb uh, ahead of that frontal boundary. Into the 70s pretty quickly, or at least around 70 in the Tri-Cities, low 70s to the east, but that cooler air working in. Watch how temperatures drop later on today behind that front. Uh, colder air will start to work its way in. Chillier tonight, 20s and 30s for overnight lows. And as we get into tomorrow, we'll see those temperatures work their way up into the, I think will be a few degrees warmer than this. I would say upper 50s to low 60s from northwest to southeast. You could almost tack on about 3 degrees on most locations, 3, 4, 5 degrees in most spots. And that should be our high late, uh, as we head towards tomorrow afternoon. But again, another very windy day out there for your Tuesday. And then temperatures start to drop off Tuesday night. So let's look at that extended forecast. The winds do finally die back Wednesday and Thursday. Fairly mild days ahead of us, actually, for Wednesday and Thursday. A little cooler on Friday. And our uh, best chance of precipitation coming in Friday night and early Saturday morning. Rain that may change over to snow as it gets cold enough later in the night, Friday night. Saturday looks mostly dry outside, maybe some lingering uh, precipitation in the southeast. A cooler day, though. In fact, some models are going even colder than that 48 I have there. And then uh, Sunday looks to be warmer, but some models also go even warmer than that. So I'm kind of playing conservative for now for the weekend. Uh, we could see maybe a wider range in temperatures as we get towards Saturday and Sunday. And, of course, this time I have it right. Last week I was off. This weekend is uh, the beginning of daylight saving time where we do uh, bring those uh, clocks forward an hour over the weekend. So... Busy couple of days, not so much with precipitation and storms, but just with a lot of wind and that high fire danger and blowing dirt and dust the next couple of days. So there you go. There's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you enjoy your Monday and don't get blown away.